Okay, so compassion, uh, compa uh, compassion and suffering. It's a very interesting question. I mean, for, uh, compassion. The thing is, um, you know, there's two major roots. I would say there's many roots to God. One of the major roots to God is. Um, through service and love of others. And one of the roots is the mystical path, which is just clearing the data from within myself. And you can mix both pathways up. Um, some are called to... Um, but for some people, you know, they, they suffer a lot when they see suffering in the world and they, their heart opens and they want to clear that. You know, for myself, um, the, uh, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. The only thing I would say with that um, for myself would be that compassion should be a state, should be a high vibration state. Um, if one is being hit personally by the suffering in the world, then one's individual vibration goes down. So one's effectiveness to clear suffering in the world diminishes. So um, like I've said, um, you know, like with Mother Teresa, if she, if someone brought her a child with leprosy and she uh, she broke into tears and she couldn't function. For me, that wouldn't be um, an optimal way of having, it wouldn't really be compassion. It would be more like a, a form, uh, more of a low vibration. So the so to get to the higher states of compassion, for me, it would be a non-dual uh, or, or non-dual uh, love of others and and clearing out uh the suffering in the other other in what is perceived in the world from more of a non-dual state i.e not so much from a personal level so to get these states of uh, infinite love um, and also to recognize that when one sees um suffering in the world you know what level of consciousness am i that perceives suffering in the world uh, I would, if I if I felt if I saw suffering in the world, I would try and clean my perception of that suffering because um, often, uh, quite quite, you know, you could say with some uh, some things like uh, God did not create, for example, God did not create suffering in the world, so it is not real. By if you see suffering and then say God did not create it, for me, you're clearing the the suffering in myself which is contributing to collective suffering and i'd be also helping to clear the suffering in the world or i could say god did not create the suffering in the world and so it is not real and therefore i'm bringing the infinite into the into the dualistic suffering of the world so um i you know so to get those states of infinite love I think that the thing with compassion is, is the compassion I'm holding for the, for the others creating a negative state in me? Is it creating disempowerment in me? Because if it's creating disempowerment in me, then um, it's not a very, I wouldn't say it's the highest level of compassion because the highest states for me are infinitely powerful and infinitely strong. So if you're feeling like your heart is breaking for the suffering of the world, then for me it would be to work on clearing the data from that and in that way I'd be clearing it up so I could get into a powerful state and not go into a negative state because if others are suffering and then I suffer it's like others are in darkness and I'm in darkness. If others are in darkness and I'm in the light and I transmute what I perceive as the suffering into the light then for myself, I'm starting to clean the suffering in myself and from the collective. So for myself, I'm always trying to, whatever I perceive in myself and in the world, to clean that out to, to a high energy state. So um, if I'm not sure, you can check it out with muscle testing. But I, I do, I do um, believe that the more I can go into the light, the greater an asset I am for the world. And the more I'm in personal darkness or being affected by the world or allowing the world to trigger me, the less I can be of use to myself and others. Okay, I'll leave that.